Okay, and um, after removing a lot of this stuff, I started looking around. And if you look down here in the oil filter housing, there's supposed to be a plastic standpipe, and you can see how this got so hot that it's melted that thing and it's like gone. And I guess it's all down in the engine as well. So it's it's looking like any hopes of uh, salvaging this engine is going to be gone because it had to get pretty hot to do that. And at first I didn't even hadn't even noticed it. And I've also along with the um, the EGR was just completely carboned up nothing could get through there and I'm just gonna keep on digging I'm suspecting that you know there's a lot of other stuff that's gonna be melted <clears throat> uh, this is the the IPR and it's just completely clogged right there like nothing getting through and that could be plastic as well and it does feel like plastic so it, I don't know it's just completely plugged up like just a little little bitty hole you can see there where anything could even get through and I was just taking that out and working on getting the cover because I've got all the bolts off of that <clears throat> so I'm just gonna just keep on looking around here and, and uh, take that cover off and see what this, this pump looks like Oh, and I uh, forgot to mention, getting this um, EGR cooler, all I did was just kind of worked it around where I had room and just pushed it right off of that tube there. It's got a seal in there. I said I just pushed it straight back and it just pulled completely off of there. Okay, and getting this cover up, we've had to use a uh, putty knife and my little small little price prime screwdriver and I just got with the putty knife underneath the front work that entire front part loose because it's going to be sealed down there pretty good <clears throat> and then got enough slack to get under it with my little screwdriver and just popped it up in the front there and we're just going to finish working it up and out of there Okay, and here it is with our front cover off. I want to also point out that I did clean this surface and covered my intake. I vacuumed and blowed this out really well just to minimize any debris getting in there. So I've done that before I took this cover off. So we're going to go ahead and... Uh, get this uh, pump loose and take a look at it and see what we're going on. I've already found you know several problems and I just don't know that uh, you know it's just looking like there's not going to be any hope for this engine because of that I mean it, the fact that it got so hot it's melting stuff but I'm just going to keep looking around and inspecting stuff and see what we got here okay right now I'm getting these T45s on this Pump and I'm using a stubby T45 and I've also got a swivel on there just because of the way this is made and there's one there and then one right there in the back and then there's one over here on this side that's uh, not too bad to get to so right now I'm just getting those loose and I'll have to contend with those two eight millimeters up there as well Okay, now there's those three that were in the pump here that we took off of that side and up in there. And uh, right now, just getting those two, and I'm using an extension on my ratchet and getting those two that you see up there, eight millimeters. Okay, and with those out, it just lifts right up out of there. So we're just ready to remove this now. And one thing uh, we'll want to look at is the seals on the bottom and see if we've got some other stuff that's plugged up.
Okay, I wanted to show you a couple of important seals. We got one back here on the high pressure side, the pump's setting on, and you can see how that thing is flattened out. I said this truck's got over 220 on it. This one right here, the one that it's being fed by, and that also will leak and uh, not allow enough oil to get in there. But these two right here are a couple of really important seals to pay attention to. And a lot of times these could be the culprit. I had another truck and it um, turned out to be those right there that were doing the most leaking. Okay, I have a kit here for this high pressure oil pump and I'm just going to go ahead and put some seals. It has the one for the IPR and all the other various seals to put back on there. So I'm just gonna put these seals on there and see what it'll do. I'm gonna have to fix a few more things, but for now I'm just gonna go ahead and get this pump back on there. Now here are these old seals and these things are just completely flattened out and just really hard and too and brittle. Okay, I've just put the two new seals back in there and the one back there. And I've also cleaned up all around this surface before I put the pump in because it's gonna be really hard to do with the pump in the way. And I've also used brake cleaner. That's doesn't have to be perfect, but because you got an O-ring seal going around it, but um, um, back there where the junction is, that has to be really clean there, because that's where the silicone's gonna go. I'm just gonna go ahead and set this pump back into place now. Okay, I'm tightening these T45s. They're gonna be going 23 foot-pounds. I'm using a long one. I found that to work better. So we're gonna just go ahead and get these torqued. Okay, for the eight millimeters on the discharge tube, we're gonna go 96 inch pounds on those. Okay, let's show what we've done. We've put a seal around this. I've put a little dab sealant on both sides, right back there at that junction. <clears throat> and we have our cover We've put in a seal on here. The seal will only go one way. You'll notice the little nub right there. And we're just getting ready just to set this um, back onto here and we'll torque this down. Okay, and all we've done is torque those to 96 inch pounds. And um, <clears throat> I'm gonna be replacing this up here. So the neck, my next move is gonna be taking um, this housing here for the oil cooler off. Um, this got melted down. So more than likely what I'm gonna do is hunt me down a replacement and just replace this whole entire top here. Uh, don't know where all that plastic went there. Um, but as far as that go, we're, we've got our seals in there and we just put the put the pump back on there. Like I said, we're going to see what this thing will do regardless. And so our next move is going to be getting on this right here. Okay, and along with that oil housing melting down, this is the IPR and what it looked like. And it's supposed to look like this one right here. It's supposed to have a screen on there. And Basically, it just got, the oil got so hot, it just melted those completely through, almost through the screen there, you can see. Um, I mean, they're just, they're coming through the back side almost. It got so hot, because that's supposed to be on the front, but it just melted it down. And on top of that, it uh, you can see the, the plastic shrapnel in there. So this thing is gonna be no good. Just no way of getting that out of there. I've tried, and there's no telling what it did when it went up in this thing. So, I'm not going to be able to use this IPR. So I'll be getting one of those and um, get me another oil filter housing. And like I said, I'm just going to try it out, see what this thing's going to do, and uh, 
kind of hope for the best on it. 